In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Office 365 DSC module to extract configuration out of an existing Office 365 tenant. The first thing we need to do is call into the install module command, passing in the name of our module, in our case Office 365 DSC. And at the time of recording, the Office 365 DSC module is still an alpha version. Therefore, when you call in the install module, you need to pass in the allow pre-release switch. The moment the module will hit the, the first RTM version, you're no longer going to need to use the allow pre-release version. PowerShell is going to be smart enough to go and grab the first official version available. Now, when we run this, what's happening in the background is that PowerShell is pinging the PowerShell gallery getting the Office 365 module, downloading it and installing it alongside with all the dependencies that it requires to execute properly, such as the SharePoint PNP module, the SharePoint Online Management Shell and the Exchange Online Management Shell. This should take a few seconds to complete. Now the module has been properly installed alongside with all of its dependencies on the current host. What I can do now is import my module into my current PowerShell session or what you can do as well is close the current PowerShell session, just reopen it, and that will load the module. When you run this, you're going to get two warnings. You can safely discard those two warnings. Those are related to the SharePoint Online Management Shell not using approved verb. They're not going to be causing any issues. The moment you uh, import your module in your current session, you now have access to a new command called export O365 configuration. When you run this, you're going to get prompted to provide credentials for a, um, a tenant admin for your tenant. Really important, the, the credentials have to be for a tenant admin, otherwise you're not going to have access to extract the configuration. In my case, I'm going to go and do office365dsc.onmicrosoft.com and execute this. Now, the Office 365 DSC module is going to go and connect to your tenant and start extracting the various components. Any components that Office 365 DSC supports will be extracted with this command. We can see from the screen here, we're extracting the admin audit log config from the security and compliance center. We're extracting mailbox settings. We're extracting uh, users. We're extracting groups. We're extracting uh, SharePoint Online site collection, SharePoint Online search managed properties. So we're going to let this run. It's going to take a few minutes to complete. Now, once the process completes, it's going to prompt us to select a location where the extraction uh, or the files that have been extracted are going to be stored. We can provide a path that already exists or I can just provide a path that um, doesn't exist and is going to go in and automatically create the folder and store the files in it. Now, it did create a folder, it opened the folder automatically and we can see two files in there. We can see my configuration data which contains information about my tenant that I extracted. And we can also see um, the, the PS1 file, which represents the configuration for my tenant. So in there, we can see everything that I extracted, the admin audit log config, the mailbox, the mail tips, the off, uh, OneDrive settings, all my managed properties. And yes, there were tons of them. Sorry about that. Hopefully you managed to fast forward toward the end of the extraction, all my site collections and so on. And what's really interesting about this is I can now go in, browse the location where my files were located, 
execute my PS1 file, provide my password, and that will automatically go and compile the MUF file that represents my Office 365 tenant. I can take that MUF file, rerun it against a different tenant, and that will automatically sync all the configurations that I extracted over to my new tenant.